what's going on guys, it's Luke here, and this is going to be now a new series, it's going to be loads of tutorials on After Effects edits, so this tutorial is going to be covering brief colour correction, a bit of nice glow, and quick stuff, this will be the, I'm just about to say the final outcome. That's all we're going to be learning today. So I'm just going to take everything off. Right, so that's everything taken off. Then something on there. Right, so bad color correction. If you don't, this is if you don't have magic bullet look. You go to color correction and curves. Now what that allows you to do, you've got five different channels. You can change it up how you want and mess about. This is what I do, I add a little RBG, change it to red, add a bit of that red, green, I drag it down, and blue, I drag that up a bit, so, and alpha you don't need to worry about, it does nothing to, if I drag it up or down, there's absolutely nothing to do, right so anyway, once you've done the curves, if you want to add a bit of glow, you just go to stylize and glow. Um, you can turn on the glow threshold. I choose to go with 90 most of the time. Sometimes 80 if I'm playing NW3 or Black Ops. Anyway, so there's your curves and glow. It's pretty simple. Now here comes. Now here's the easiest way to do slow mo. It is a plugin, and if you don't have Twitch, that I will leave a video. Um, a video link in the description to a video who, which will tell you how to get Twitch star. Anyway, so you want to go on, you want to go on, you want to go on Ori Vision plugins and Twitch star. Now, once you install the Twitch star, if it goes below everything and turns the whole screen red, don't worry. Basically, drag it up there because Twitch star has to go before everything. Right, so now you just want to find where you want the Twitch star to apply. So I want to place it around where the shot is, and this is after so it's like screwing up a bit. Right, so where he shoots is around there. I want it when he shoots, he like his gun switching back a bit. Um, yep. Yeah. Back where I want the fix to have to you want to go down here, click on this little down arrow, effect. Quick star, and then you want to go to output control, and you want to keyframe there speed. You want to put that 100, go roughly three or four frames forward. This is what I'm going to do three. Uh, then you want to change, click on that, and change that to I'd say four below. I go with two because it's super slow. And then basically, that's your pixel drive if you ever want to speed it up. You do the set, you move over, you want to speed it up, back to normal speed, keyframe there, at 2, 3 or 4, and then you put it back to 100, and that's basically it. So let's just render this out and I'll show you the preview. Mm -hmm. Oh, the body's falling. Yep. 
we surrender. As you know, we don't want to force this quickly. I've forgotten something now. Right. I'm going to take that all up. Take that all up. If you want to make it super slow, so um, super smooth, I mean, right click on your clip, go to no, um, frame blending, pixel motion. Right, and we'll continue rendering. There we go. Um, yeah, so hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as well, that's all really. Good. And I'm gonna go. Good.